Hello and welcome back to the Champ Manager 0102 save where we are FC Barcelona and we're trying to replace an aging squad. Now we haven't actually done very much, I think I pressed continue like twice since the last video. However, I've been in deep conversation with a few people on Twitter asking for recommendations about players and stuff. So thank you very much to a lot of people that have got back in touch with me. And now here is a long list. CMO102 Network, which is at CMO102 underscore network on Twitter, have given me a lot of players to sign. Then there's at Kev Loaf, at Neil G. Coleman, um, who else have we got? We've got um, uh, Dave Black at CM9798. We've got absolutely loads. At Aki Gaz, which is A W C Y G A Z. If you want to go and give all these guys a follow, that is really good. I mean, we've got some unbelievable recommendations in here. People that I'd never even thought of. So let's get underway and start getting some sort of shortlist going. So the first one, I don't know why I put an A in there, is Victory. Jamie Victory, not only an amazing name, but apparently a very, very good player in this save. So let's get him up. And then, I mean, they've. I asked people to do like, what was your ultimate 11 in the game? And some of the people are legends that I know about and legends that I don't know about. So Chiotis is obviously already on the shortlist. We'll go for Mike Duff. Uh, there he is from Cheltenham, right back. Again, he's already on the shortlist. Look at all the, I've, I mean, I've got some of these on it. Tobros. Never heard of Tobros. He's not in the game, which means he probably comes on a, um, a patch or something. Let's just check to see how the spelling is. If it's... Uh, well, he's not on there. So, Okoronokwu ok is already at our club. He's out on loan. Um, Kalogiras. Again, not in the game. Maybe they're playing on a different... Um, setting to me, Kalzo, Kal Kaluzny, Kalu Kaluzny, Radoslav Kaluzny. I mean, this guy is incredible. Added into the shortlist already. Have I done this already and just for completely forgotten about it? Uh, shortlist. Yes, I have because I have like loads of people on here already. <laughs> um, there are probably quite a few that I already haven't added on. Uh, Aga Howell will be on there. Salakovic. I don't think I added him on. Salakovic. Stefan Salakovic. Okay, and he's got a release free if they don't play him, which is good. I've never understood how they're judging non-playing release fee. If anyone knows, let me know down below. How do they judge non-playing? When is it When is it a case that they're not playing? How many games does it have to be until they're not playing? Um, Agbar Barsom. Oh, again, he's not in the game. They must be playing on the slide. Oh, no, there he is. Abgar. Abgar Barsom. He is apparently recommended highly, highly, that's terrible English, recommended higher than Kim Kalstrom, who obviously I think we've already um, added to the shortlist because Kim Kalstrom is an absolute hero. Yeah, Barcelona and Hamstead, he's written Kalstrom. Julius Agahawa is the one that gets mentioned a lot. So obviously we're going to be getting him in when we can. We'll start. We will start to make some transfers in this episode uh, and make some bids in. So obviously Nigma Chulin's in there. Oh yeah, Ibrahim Said or Said, I think it is. Um, oh, there he is, Ibrahim Said. I was about to come off him, but there he is, 21-year-old Egyptian. Yeah, add him to the shortlist. He's on there as well. Uh, we've got Tomadira Cherno Samba. Did I add him? to the list did i yes i did interested barcelona um there's just so many good players kennedy back at Ologlu. obviously we're going to try and get him in as well kennedy back kennedy b kennedy back at Ologlu. um i did add him to the shortlist i should have just checked really uh nigma chulin is someone i'm definitely going to look to bring in although he got a bad rap from um cmo 102 network you never forgive him for scoring a two rating and conceding five goals to Fiorentina. So, yeah, that's he might not be too happy that we bring in uh, Ruslan Nikomachulin from Spartak Moscow. We've got, obviously, Makoku. Nikoforenko is another one that I'm not sure if I've shown you on this save before. Sergei Nikoforenko. We'll add him to the shortlist, yes. I mean, it's just so exciting. Like, this is a save where I can just go through it and have such a smile on my face because of the nostalgia, the history of playing it, all these nails. I mean, Pinherio, I think, is someone we've added to the shortlist, but I've never really heard of before as a goalkeeper, and it would really help 
if I could spell it correctly, couldn't it? So, um, not that one, because he's a goalkeeper. Hugo Pinario, yeah, I think we've already added him. Yeah, we have. So we're going to be signing a lot of players. We're going to be looking to bring in um, an overhaul of the youth team and everything like that. There is a good John. Oh, good John Son. Good John Son, like that. Oh, now I've got four of them. Which one does he mean? He's a, he's a midfielder, so it could be that one. It could be that one. Uh, it could be that one, but probably not. And it could be that one. Let's go for the two youngest. So 21, we'll add to the shortlist. Already a Betis, so he might be hard to sign. He's 32, so it's probably not going to be him. Um, Milevsky, let's just have a look at a quick look at Milevsky. Milevsky, I think this is the guy that I couldn't spell last time. Yeah, it definitely is, because he's already on the shortlist. I couldn't spell him last time. Uh, Kievo, oh yeah, Kievo. Christian Kievo, I think that's how you pronounced it, um, add to shortlist. He was a legend, went to Inter Milan in real life, and uh, was very, very good for them. Um, Sometimes, Douglas Kalstrom, Agahaus, Tizalko, um, oh, Ronald, Ronaldino. Let's see if I can get him in and replicate a real life transfer to Barcelona. Obviously, that would be epic. We have got 94 million, so we should, we should be able to sign whoever you can. Um, whoever we want, in fact, Scalidis, Scalidis, Scalidis. Now I'm that's obviously not in the game. I'm spelling that right. Um, Scalidis would outscore Stigzalko, but Zago is more romantic choice. <laughs> uh, it's just such. I mean, if you want to go and look at the Twitter thing between it, it was really, really good. Stu Fraser has got in touch as well uh, at Spud1903. Uh, David Di was one of his that he said. So we're going to have to narrow that down. David Di, there he is. From Pistosia, 27 Italian. He's got a release fee, but whether we can, whether they get relegated and then we can buy him out, we'll have to see. Victory Ariliano. He is. That must be a spelling mistake because I can't imagine anyone's got two R's straight away. Ariliano. Oh, there's two of them. Santiago Ariliano and Jesus Ariliano. I mean, he looks pretty good. We'll scout. Add him to the shortlist. Um, Wake. Riyad, he's not in the game. Um, Mark Kerr, obviously. Scally is another one that's listed. Neil Scally from Air. I mean, all these Scottish players, if they had turned out to be amazing, they would have been amazing, wouldn't they? They would have been absolutely amazing. So I've been given as well the first name of Scalidis, which is Anastas. Anos. An Anastios. Anast Anastios. Anas. Anastios. I mean, we'll have a quick flick, a quick flick, a quick flick to see if I can see him. And Yanis Anastio, no, it's not him from Roda. Is there another one? No, there isn't. He must not be in the game. Someone that I do remember being absolutely amazing. If we go over to Boca, Boca had loads of good players um, in this save. Barishlotto, the Barishlotto brothers, obviously Raquel May. We want to get him on the short list. Um, we want to get, um, where's the other Barishlotto? I saw, look, Willy Caballero. I swear there was two Barishlotto brothers. I mean, we'll add them both to the list. Let's just find player. Shilotto. Shil yeah, there is two. Gustavo plays at racing. On loan from Villarreal. Oh, I wonder if he was part of the... Martin Palermo deal that took him to Villarreal. We'll add him to the shortlist because he was an absolute goal machine as well, if I remember. But um, yeah, so we've got quite a big um, quite a big shortlist now formed. So let's go and... Well, the first thing we're going to do is go into the B squad and get rid of anybody that we think is never really going to make um, the grade at Barcelona. So Callion will definitely not make the grade. We'll get rid of him. Oscar Lopez, it's normally anybody that's worried about their future, you can generally tell, isn't going to make their game. Oli, yeah, actually had a semi-decent career, if I remember rightly. I think he did make some appearances for Barcelona in the first team. David Garcia, I mean, we're freeing up a lot of space here now. Um, Alberto, no, get rid, get rid. We need space in the reserves for all these people we're going to bring in. Mickey can go as well. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you're oh, my man. Hey, Mickey, 25 years old? You're never going to make it. Get out of the B team. Quadrado heading 20, but we're going to be bringing in lots of players to replace you. Like Oscar Lopez, we'll get rid of you as well. Oh, we've already given you a free transfer, so that's okay. Uh, Perona, mm, no. 
get rid. We're going to probably... The thing with Sam, Chapman Andre 102 is that you always buy so many forwards and strikers as well. So we might as well just get rid of all of these forwards and strikers. Completely take them out. Uh, Thiago Motta will keep because of, you know, he's done well in real life. Uh, Marcelo, no. I mean, you're worth 725k. Let's just see if we can sell you for something. 600, there we go. Let's see if we can get 600k for you. Um, oh, no, it's Okonoa we've got out on loan. So I need to go and have a look at that again. Okorono, Isaac Okorunokwa. For, oh, he's already on our... Oh, hoping to impress the visiting scouts. That's good to see. That's very good to see. So we're just going to continue a little bit. Um, they've made an offer of 1 million. Yeah, we only want 600k. Yep, yeah, done. You can have him. Free transfer, free transfer, free transfer, free transfer. Right. That's freed up a lot of space. Now, who do we want to sell in here? I think my, Mikel Arteta can go down to the B team for a little bit. Uh, Nano can go down to the B team. Who else have we got? Danny. No, we'll keep him up here. Alfonso, you're, no, you're not going to get a game, mate. You are not going to get a game. So we'll take a cut price deal of 5 million for Alfonso, which is seeing Real Madrid and Deportivo lead the race. Roy Mackay. Ah, oh, Dijon Mina. Oh, I used to love signing him. That might have been earlier than Chapman 0102, but I definitely remember signing Di Jalmina. But, uh, yes, yeah, so let's go spend some money. So the first player we're going to go for is Christian Shivu because he's just generally amazing. We'll go for 4 million to start with and see if we can get him in on the cheap. I mean, we should probably go for the big, like, famous names. Chiotis will come in as well. Let's see if we can get him in for... 475k, why not? Um, I mean, say we need to get in Maxim. Maxim Tizalco as well needs to come in. Let's get him in. We'll offer 625k. We probably don't need to offer any more than that, to be honest. But we're going to do it so that we can try and secure their transfers. Emil Debski has got a bid from Willem II. So let's go and try and knack that. Mark Kerr has got a bid from us. That's okay. Uh, obviously, we need to get Kim Kalstrom in. Can't remember how much it costs to get him, but 475k. We're gonna burn through this money quite quickly, even though we've got like 90 million to spend. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, Hugh, I'm interested to see Hugo Pinario because I've never even heard of him before. So we'll double his asking price to 10. Um, Nika Fodenko is a guy as well I've never used before. Flattered by the interest being shown in him. So 50k for him. Um, Ab Abgar Barsum, who apparently gets better than Kim Kalstrom, will go for him as well. Um, Milevsky is a guy whose name I can't spell, but we'll try and get him in. I mean, chances are we're just going to basically... That is 54 players, so we can't sign everybody. Um, because we're also going to try and keep the really good players from Barcelona around as well until they retire or we sell them on for a lot of money. Um, and the other thing is, we're probably going to have quite a lot of... Uh, foreign non-EU players with all these players that we're trying to get into the van. I mean, as you can see, I'm doing a bit of a scattergun approach at the moment. Oh, we've got a game against Red Star. We've got a game. All right, let's get into it. Banano in goal. Right back, Carlos Puyol. Well, that's, that's left back. Um, I was trying to think of a formation where we can get the best out of all the players. So left back will be um, Cuckoo. In the middle, we'll go with, well, Anderson and it will have to be Abelardo because Chris Danival, for some reason, illegible. I'm going to assume not registered. Oh, that's all that's going to annoy me. I'm, I'm in football manager mode where you click along and go through them. Uh, a holding mid is Xavi. Midfield left, I think, well, we're going to just pick our best players, which is Rivaldo, Enrique, Overmars, Savio Lecliver. And then we'll go for some sort of lineup. Rivaldo sitting in behind. Probably Overmars on the left. Um, I mean, he can play sort of everywhere. He can play left. So we'll go like that. We'll push Cuckoo up a little bit or like this. I know that playing a more centralised formation works a bit better. So we'll put Enrique in here and push Puyol on up there as well. Uh, right. Tactics, team instructions. We want to play short. Hard tackling. Pressing no. Uh, actually, pressing yes, normal, done. Not going to pick a an out and out playmaker because I want them to use everybody. I don't want them to just go for whoever, like one specific player to pass to. Gerard, Coco, Sergei, and Alfonso. Even though we're trying to sell him, gets a place on the bench. Now we're not incredibly 
match fit. So this could be a, a, an, an interesting situation to see how long we last. Influence nine, influence eight. Uh, it'll probably someone at the back, won't it? Influence sixteen. Koku, influence 11, Bonanno, influence 17, Carlos Puyo, influence 7, that should change over time if it's anything like realism, uh, Xavi is 21 but is going to be captain for today's game, so what else do we want to do here, maybe we'll push Rivaldo running up, let's put Overmars to come in, Luis Enrique can just sort of push into this gap when Rivaldo pushes on, right let's see how this gets on, it could be an absolute utter disaster, but uh, let's go and find out. We'll proceed into the match. We'll put the commentary speed up to fast. We can still keep up with it then. And let's get the game underway. So we're going to have this game and then we'll look at how a few of the bids have gone in the transfer window and see if we can get any of these players in. And it's a good start. Javier Saviola forcing the Red Star goalkeeper into a good save. And it's Luis Enrique. He comes in, turns, he shoots. No, Overmars. Oh, it's well held by the goalkeeper. Could have been a great goal. But... Uh, we're doing okay at the moment. We're at the new camp, so I'm expecting us to win. Cliver with a volley. Oh, the goalkeeper's having an absolute stunner. Who is he? Vladimir Dzhlenisnikov. I mean, it's a known fact that I struggle to say players' names in general champ manager or football manager terms. But uh, some of the names, I just I can't even. I give them a go and I mess them up. And that's all I can say, and I apologise for that. But I'm sure it's a good laugh for everybody. Um, if there's a way of saying names and I'm not getting it right, please try and put it phonetically in the comments below, and I'll try my hardest. And obviously, if you're enjoying this series, you're a big Champ Manager 102 fan. We're 1-0 down to Red Star. Yelik. Yelik got a goal. He's a 24-year-old Yugoslavian striker. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like. Please, you know, go oh, with we've equalised. Why can't I get this sentence out without something happening in the game? Luis Enrique, three minutes later, makes it 1-1. If you're enjoying the series... Oh, we've hit the woodwork. If you're enjoying the series, leave a like. If you're a Champ Andro 102 fan, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Spread the word that this exists because I'm, I'm sure there's lots of people out there who used to love this game. Would love to see a series of it. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at CulturedF. And, uh, yeah, we can try and get this momentum going on this series so uh, Carlos Puyol's got injured that's really annoying uh, Gabri I think is the right back yeah Gabri's going to come on to replace him we'll stick with the same formation for now um, I think we're going to have to go we might mix it up into a 4-3-1-2 because I'm, if I remember rightly that's quite an overpowered formation in this sense and then I know there's things you can do with the wib wob as well with that with the ball without the ball stuff like that so let's move over Mars in here, we'll move Javi up there, um, we'll go Gabri just pushing up, and then, well, Over Mars and Enrique are both a bit more attacking, so let's go for that. That, I think, is one of the, like, cheap formations, because you're playing very narrow and everyone's running forwards and offering support. So Gabri straight away, as he comes on, uh, after the half-time whistle, he's been playing about 10 minutes in the first half, came on for the second half, let's see how he gets on. Whether he can keep his spot with the influx of players that we're going to bring in, we'll have to wait and see. But let's keep it going. So Anderson struck somebody. Anderson is um, not playing very well, is a way to sum that up. Five. Xavi may be struggling with the captaincy. Let's bring on Fabio Rochenbach for Xavi. And have we got anyone that can play as a centre-back? No, we don't, because Alfonso is the backup striker. So Anderson's probably going to have to get the whole game. We could put Rochenbach back there, but I don't want to do that just yet. As Banana takes it. Cocker hoots it for Clivert. Rivaldo. Clivert's in the area. And Clivert scores. Patrick Clivert gets us a goal. 50th goal for Barcelona comes in the Champions League qualifying stage. Leg one against Red Star Belgrade. I'm sure he'll remember that and look fondly back on memory. Saviola with a fierce shot. It goes over the bar. Um, that's something I want to do is you get a formation that gets the best out of Saviola because he is an absolute legend. Right. Anderson's having an absolutely terrible game. So what's going to happen is Philip Cocker's actually going to come in at the back. I'm sure he can do it fine. I know he's not an out-and-out -out centre-back, but I'm sure he'll be have the experience and the nous to be able to play there and, and do a good job. So, Rivaldo going forward again. Jelic, well, they've intercepted and they're looking forward. Rochenbach picks up a yellow card. No, he doesn't. It was holding back. But that rule obviously hadn't come in in Champ Andro 102. That it was a, if you pull someone back using the shirt, then it's a yellow, automatic yellow card. That obviously isn't in play. Clivert holds it up to Overmars. Saviola can't get there. And uh, their goalkeepers had a pretty good game, to be honest. Overmars lobs it in. Saviola's offside. So are we now going to hold on and take a 2-1 win into the second leg against Red Star? Yes, we are. So, excellent. None of that team talk nonsense. Don't need to do any of that. Puyol's out for a week. Let's carry on. So, Madeira accepts Barcelona. Get him in the van. 
Our funds are out for 10 days. We've made our first signing. It is Toe Madeira. Um, yeah, you can have our funds over 6.25 million. Genoa, Barcelona signed Toe Madeira. There he is. He's going to come in as the club captain as well with that influence as 20. Um, Mark Kerr is indispensable, is he? We'll see. We'll see how indispensable he is, my friends. We will see how indispensable they think Mark Kerr is. Will a bid of 1 million, if they reject this, then you... Minimum fee release clause 1.3 million, right? Doesn't matter if you just sign a new contract. We're having you for 1.3 million, unless he doesn't want to discuss terms. Um, I've made an offer of 475k. Okay, let's uh, up that a little bit then, because we need to at least match them or beat it. So transfer deadline, one week, one week. Oh my God, this is going to be mentally quick. Have Porto got anyone good at this stage? Oh, Deco. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we'll give him a, a add to the shortlist as well. Is there anybody else? I swear they had someone that was... Ricardo Carvalho as a centre-back. Wow. Yeah, that's... That went... Uh, Zolo Makuko has been... 500k for Zolo Makuko. I mean, we're just chucking money around at the moment. Um, Pinero surely wants to still boost us as a backup. Yes, he does, which is good. Barsom, transfer bid rejected. Indispensable. 120k then. Brozek rejected okay let's uh step this up a million pounds before we know it we're going to be out of money i can feel it i can feel it happening in that way uh christian kivu uh, or chivu kivu chivu let me know that's a classic name let me know down below how i pronounce that name nika Frenko. oh my god people look it's barcelona you don't say no to barcelona when we come to try and get one of your players nda oh my word come on then I'm pretty sure this is going to go horribly wrong with the foreigner rule. Chiotis is an important player for the future. Yeah, but I want him now. Like, oh, Chijalko, yes. Uh, squad rotation. Excellent. Get him in the van. Done. Calstrom bid rejected. Has he got a minimum fee? No, he hasn't. But we'll, we'll keep going. Uh, Milevsky have accepted the offer. So let's go and have a look at Milevsky. Uh, back up. Yeah, good. Because we're such a well-reputation club. A lot of players should be happy to be backup players as, as they join us because, um, good, yeah, fine, see you later, Marcelo. Another million pounds that we can invest in some legendary superstars for Barcelona. Oh, man, they can't have more than non EU players, any more non EU players in their squad. Compostello, why are you backing out of that? We'll up it and see if we can get anyone else interested in him. Compostello, you idiots, absolute idiots. But yeah, so we're going to go forward a little bit further. Vela Sarsfield offered... Have I actually offered him a contract? Uh, yes, I have. Um, William II transfer bid for Milevsky. Now, I'm hoping that, you know, they'll use their common sense. I've just had a thing to say, you know, is was it Raphael van der... Van der Art is a guy I used to play football with. Van der Vaart, there he is. Um, we'll get him in as well, if we can. Oh, Wesley Schneider. Was he in this game? Wesley... Wesley, no he's not, he's not, but whilst we're here, we will go and buy uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or at least we'll put in a bid for him anyway, of, whoa, not that much, 6 million, let's see if they accept that, and the other one is just a player that I really like, apologies for hitting the microphone earlier, <sighs> what, 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 whoa, 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 does he not load into the game unless you have the Man United, the English leagues on, Bojan Djordic, there he is, yeah, Bojan Djordic, Add to shortlist, approach to loan, we'll pay all of his wages and we'll have him for as long as humanly possible because I really, really like Bojan Djordic. I've had a really weird infatuation with him ever since I first played this game and um, he's literally gone on to do nothing. He once sent me a tweet which I was very, very happy with. Obviously you've accepted it because you have to accept it because it's met his minimum fee release clause. So maybe we'll bring in Sade as well. Pinheiro! is in so we've now bought in two players for a whopping fourteen thousand pounds um dalum have accepted the offer this is it. we're making we're making progress now um let's go hot prospect yeah you still want to move as a hot prospect that's good uh barsom will use you as a squad rotation player i mean it's just so good hugo pinario he's not too bad actually he's not too bad yeah have with this so we are now making progress, which is very, very good. I don't know how much it's going to take to try and get Tonton Zolomaku. Oh, my God. You don't want to... 
A million pounds we've just offered you. A million pounds. Percentage of the next sale. No. Uh, get rid of that. Ten league appearances. We'll give you that. And then we'll give you a bit more there. Cowstrom big rejected. How much did you have to pay to get all these players? Why have I got memories of them being all really, really cheap? They've only just recently been an important player for the, first, uh, for the future. Yeah, but I want him. And I'm Barcelona. So... It's a bit of a whiny episode. I'm acting a bit like a teenager, aren't I? Okay, we're probably not going to get Kivu for that much money. Nikifedenko. Oh, my God. Like, all right, 210K. That's like four times his value. NDA, we're going to go for 950K for you. Ibrahimovic, rejected. Tijalko, there we go. Bit big, big money signing. Um, oh, there you go. 1.3 million. Now the transfers are rolling ears. Yes, we know Mark Kerr is showing promise. That's why we're trying to buy him. Um, we're going to have to wrap up this episode soon. Maybe not as many transfers as I wanted, but you've seen some action. We've seen some We've seen some players have bids on them. Jordic loan bid rejected. Kerr transfer bid rejected. Right. 1.1 million. Come on, then. Try and stand up to that. We've signed Max and Chagot, and we've signed Ibrahim Said. So the squad is coming along nicely now. Oh, it's exciting. Right, we're going to leave it there. Let me know down below where, like, formations we should play, team instructions we should play, who should we... Who's your number one signing we should go and buy in this save? If it was Tomadira or Maxim Tizlauko or Tizalko, then we've already bought him. Um, and if it was Ibrahim Said, we've already bought him. So, yeah. Or if it was Pinario, we've already bought him. Now, do I make him our first-choice goalkeeper and just go for this? I mean, Bernardo's getting on a bit. We could maybe cash in... And see what we can see if we can get another deal for him. Reisiger is another player I might cash in, but I'm not sure. Let's give this game. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Give this game a quick save. And as it's saving, I'll say thank you very much for watching. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.